Oh shit, we're live. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Sexpot Radio. I'm December. This and I'm Jenny Kush. Jenny Kush. Round the table, I'm Matt. Oh, we got it. You're Brooke. She's you can say hi. Hi Brooke. Hi. She's doing a... Uh, she can pipe in with yeah. some silly shenanigans. She's doing our um, photography. We have our photographer here from Brooklyn Bliss Photography. Sick. <laughs> Rock and roll, so today is Tuesday. We're doing and we're a about show. to get crazy about sex and pot. Yeah. Two of my favorite things. All right. Yep. Here we are. Um, so we've been gone the last couple of weeks. Been some uh, health issues. Jenny Kush was stuck in Montana. Yes. We brought her home and all is well. I'd like to thank everyone that participated in bringing me back home. Right. High fives. I was a little better. stressed when I was told that I could come back home and then had no way home. <laughs> <laughs> we took up a we took up a collection plate. For Jenny Kush. Yep. And it worked home. out great. Excellent. I'm I'm stoked that you're here and I'm stoked that one of the reasons that you are here is that um you made that online petition and you had how many, hundreds of people sign We had 228 it. signatures when it was all said and done. I had 25 letters from friends. Um I actually had a ma- gentleman who had ran for senator in Colorado even write a letter. So yeah. So that's, that's awesome. excellent. So yeah. the pa- power of the people, right? For like, sure. Here we are. It's really working. Yep. And I had some people be like, should we even sign it? Is it going to help? Like, it helped. Like the Yes. They looked at me and they're like, how did you get this many signatures? And I was like, well, you know, I know a few people. <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple. Just a couple. Around there. <laughs> okay. So today on the show, we're going to talk about um, a couple of different things. We have the Santorum porn <laughs> <laughs> wait not the uh, santorum porn i don't <laughs> mean that I mean that would be awesome <laughs> the Sant- Lord, santorum here. anti-porn yes so <laughs> somebody who's running for president of our country is anti-porn and i think that he has no chance in hell now it could be me I could, we, we got another, I know, a dude. couple of stories but let's Let's uh let's talk about this one first. Um, that's not really the reason he's not getting my vote though. There's no. there's a no. lot of reasons, but you know, that's just another pusher, you know. Yeah. I think that's the last straw. Like you got to be There was many me. last straws for that dude though. Right. You know, but that one's just like, really? It's Didn't he You win? don't beat off, bro? Didn't be real. <laughs> right. Be real. Didn't he win here though? Did he not Ugh. take win Yep. Like the whole thing? Here in Colorado. What happens? You got me, dude. What happens if this man becomes our president? Uh, probably the same thing that's happening now. Sucktown? Yep. $4 a gallon? Uh, I was Which, probably going to go back by the five way, or some hurt shit. so effing bad when I filled up my tank today. I'm so mad at America. Dude, I, I'm so I'm mad. the dick, dude. It's terrible. Like, we're at war. There are a million and a half homeless people in our country, and our gas is $5 a gallon. Right. And yet we can occupy hundreds, thousands? Is it thousands? Maybe it's thousands. I don't know. Of other countries. Well, it's really sad that our gas is that high when we're drilling so much oil here right now. Right. Are we drilling here now? Oh, we're uh, well, other than Montana and North Dakota. Like, They're saying that the town that I came from in North Dakota, which used to be only about 2,000 people, will be about the size of Dallas within the next 10 years. Jesus. Uh, I mean, it's everywhere. They, I think they said that last count they had about 5,000 oil rigs going. What? It's They're raping Mother Earth. That's all they're doing there. And they're greedy. And Without the mattress. Exactly. That's some no bullshit, rape dude. Exactly. No rape mattress. No fun. <sighs> it's crazy. It's like the back of a Volkswagen. Oop, sorry. <laughs> oh, uncomfortable. <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> I love it. JK. A little, a little <clears throat> mall rats reference right, goes right. a long way. <laughs> okay, so oh, let's shit. talk about Santorum. You want to read that story for me? Absolutely. We have a story here from the Huffington Post in Los Angeles. Um, the U.S. porn industry's movers and shakers accused Republican presidential candidate Rick Santorum on Monday of pandering the conservative voters 
when he vowed to crack down on their business if elected. In a statement posted on his website, Santorum said that the United States is suffering a pandemic of harm from pornography, which he said has been shown to produce brain changes in children and adults, cause the destruction of marriages, and contribute to prostitution and violence against women. Santorum offered no evidence to back up all of these assertions. Stephen, who runs... Right? No evidence. Right. Absolutely no evidence that this happened. But, you know... Like, um, what is... Okay, so he says the, the was destruction there not, of marriages... Was there not prostitution before there was TV? Uh, yeah, it's the oldest um, profession in the world. Well, hello. Like, um, prostitution and pornography are two different things. Right. Entirely. But he's saying that it's in- increasing the amount of prostitution. Uh, no. It's decreasing the amount of rape we have in our country. Exactly. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about how violent sexual crimes are down like 80%. Something like that. I have like no that. idea. Yeah. Something like 80%. Sound drop out again, Chris. We Let's have no in. sound. Come back. Show me your Come back sound. processes on the We're computer, working out the kinks, rap. folks. So bear with us. And it'll be okay if I go. The next <laughs> That'll help. <laughs> <laughs> That's the male perspective from our. <laughs> eh, sounds like home, <laughs> right? <laughs> what is his deal, man? What? There's no love with that guy. Who? Fucking Santorum, man. I'm not into it. I don't understand. I gotta say something like. How you can have a podium, that is so tall, and so many people are looking at you. Right. Not? And yet, yeah, are people listening? The audio is jumping back and forth. Who knows? People are um, the audio is jumping back and forth. We'll upload it, right? We can upload the yep. whole thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so if you're listening, bear is with the us. If not, still on, buddy? Right. Yeah, and I'm recording now. Oh, okay, cool. So you have Oh, excellent. This, Never can hear me belch. This. <laughs> 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 we'll look at it. <laughs> Whatever. Fuck it. This is what it right? is. We um, wagon wheel this way. Somebody who has such a huge voice in our culture right. say so many baseless you know claims and still be able to talk like he's right. being able to talk it's not right like he's the- brought absolutely no evidence to the table <laughs> saying that <laughs> porn is hurting anything and what business Profound of his brain what changes what business of the government is it what we watch in our homes like they want to they want to know they want to know what you put in your body they want to know what you look at. They really they don't want to know. know. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> Scarred they, for life. <laughs> they think they oh, want to know. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like they want, they want to control what we do with exactly. our bodies, which is, you know, I see people come into the shop all the time, and I can't ever talk to them about like why they why they need a test or anything like that. But right. they come in and they talk. They, you know, they're disheveled and their you know their whole sh- shoulders are hunched and they're they're coming in because they have to somehow pass a drug test and right I, i'm i'm looking at them like god damn you should work at a glass shop but you know right. everybody has to protect their own livelihoods from governmental intrusion which is oh, for so sure. fucking bizarre especially with our sex life how Absolutely. dare you like how exactly. dare you <laughs> you will not be a president in this country I don't know, dude. And <laughs> he's got he's got some backing. I think he's just it's just talking shit. I mean, let's be real. Obama, four years ago, talked some shit he didn't really mean. And you know, look how things turned out for him. Same right. deal. It's all rhetoric. I think it's all just dumb shit. I think it's for old people to be like, oh yeah, no porn. I'm sick of my kid getting viruses all over my computer. I'll support that guy. You know, what is like that kid the, gonna the, do? The though? mental processes of thinking that's a good idea have to be so minimal and so dumb. You know, to be like, oh, so fuck, he's a perfect yes. president, right? So oh, somebody perfect, can right. stand behind yeah. him and hold the strings, right? And well, it's more like, fist but this up is the ass. just gonna bring fist soba back and all that, you know, <laughs> right? And do it's not the government's business what our kids no. are doing on the computer; it's our business. And as parents, you need to take control of that instead of asking the president to take control of Fucking it. Fucking a, right? If you're not watching your kids. Shame on you. Then you shouldn't be a parent. (laughs) Well, like... Like, I mean, mm. kids do things, but, you know, like, if your kids are downloading tons of porn, you need to monitor I think you have to have a conversation with that little fella. Right. And be like, listen, bro, we don't need this much variety in the house. 
You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I was here's, on. Here's my folder. Here's my stash. Let's right? get together. Let's talk about this. Do not share the no, folder d- no, no, with no. your children. Of uh, course not. <laughs> but, um, it's just a bad idea. Well, who am I to judge? Like, if that's your your uh, method of sex education, then that's Yeah, by all means, you know. It's it's a little bit graphic, but right. whatever. These kids got to know. It's either that or they're going to figure it out themselves or from their disgusting-ass friends at school. Right. And let's be real. They're disgusting I had disgusting friends. friends. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. We all had disgusting friends right, exactly. as kids. So, fucking hey, Talk to your kids about beating off, especially about porn. Exactly. Fuck having the government saying, no, let's just not do that. Why is it Why is it we're looking to the government to solve these issues? I don't think we're looking to the government at all. No. I don't think anyone The government's asks trying for that. to make us look to them. Yeah, no, they're like, just, you They know, feed us uh, uh, lithium and... Here's and the food you're supposed to <laughs> right. eat. Fluoride in know. the water so we're complacent. Right. And here's the water you drink. Yeah. You know, here's, here are the rules. Be like, <laughs> yeah, fu- exactly, exactly. <laughs> we got this. Here you go. We got you. it. It's all we'll in your tell you. We'll tell Rick you Santorum. Not a fan of porn. No, no. And That's fucking tragic, dude, because you know what? It's awesome. And that guy's life would be exponentially better with porn. I can't I don't without, believe for a porn. second that he's a man that doesn't watch porn. He just hasn't watched the right Maybe porn. it's been so long I have no idea what it's like to be without. I go fucking crazy. <laughs> I heard a I heard a comedy bit once, it, which is why the T Rex is no longer around because he couldn't touch his dick. You know, he had like the tiny <laughs> hands. Really? Right? And he was just raging all day. I'm going to eat something. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, that's what happens. You become, you, if you don't beat off, here's the PSA for the day. If you don't beat off, you're going to be extinct. <laughs> or you're just going to rage and bite people's heads off <laughs> and be a dick. I think there's some validity to that, though. <laughs> I'm an idiot. That's well, where the aggression comes right, from. Right, it's right. not from the the porn that you're watching. <laughs> not it's at being, all. not being able it's to like right, not, at all. not having porn enough alone time. Not, not getting the I mean, the can either yourself, of you really right? say you've been sitting and watching porn going, I want to go knock over a 7 <laughs> Eleven? <laughs> Shit. Right <And> now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, There's become, become racist, there, but racist <laughs> for some reason, you know, sexist. Just, I, no, it doesn't happen. It doesn't work that way. Fuck you, dude. <clears throat> it's getting, me, getting yeah. me hot. It's just a matter <laughs> of not letting the government control yeah, what we look at. don't fuck with your shit. Exactly. Like, that's what they want to do. They want to control what we look at. Makes your, make your decisions, bro. Be cool. Right. Don't hurt anybody while doing it. And live your fucking life. All mm-hmm. right. So when we, Rick, com- when we come I back. I love you, dude. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> when we come back from the great the break, we're going to talk about sex week at Harvard University. Oh snap! The law offices of Vets and Maiden and Mats provide criminal defense, medical marijuana defense, and advice about setting up and running medical marijuana centers, optional premises cultivation operations, and infused product manufacturing businesses throughout Colorado. With offices in Denver and Aspen, we can offer assistance throughout the entire state of Colorado. Give us a call at 303-831-8188. That's 303-831-8188. Or visit us online at warrenetson.com. Hi. Hey, this is Teresa with Medical Alternatives Clinic. Anytime you come to see us, you will see the same local doctor, Bruce Reimers. We stay up to date and in compliance with all state laws and regulations. We have Monday through Friday appointments with one Saturday clinic a month. Notary on site that can help you with your paperwork. We also have two convenient locations to serve our patients, one in Colorado Springs and one in Pueblo. If you have any questions or would like to make an appointment, please call us at 719-246-0393. That's 719-246-0393. Are you a medical marijuana patient or interested in finding out how to become one? Contact Mile High Wellness, where your care is our concern. Conveniently located on Hamden and Tamarack in the Whole Foods parking lot behind Proof of the Pudding, Mile High Wellness offers a wide variety of edibles, hashes, and some of Colorado's top strains. Mile High Wellness, where your care is our concern. 3525 South Tamarack, Suite 110, on the corner of Hamden and Tamarack, 720-382-8516. Mile High Wellness, where your care is our concern. Oh, that's the bomb. Right? Sexy shit. I'm pretty sure Gino I lost, I I lost my virginity to this song. <laughs> Sorry. There are many babies <laughs> in 
the world right now because of this dance. Right? Thank you, Jin Wan. Well, welcome back College to Sexpot Radio <laughs> with uh, Jenny Kush, Hunter September, Matthew Orloff. Are we using your last name? What's... You can use my last oh. name. You can just call me Matt. You can call me Matt. Oh, this just... jam. You could, you could moan it. Like my text. <laughs> He's got a text. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every time Anytime I get a text. He gets a text message. Maddie. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to have to re record that because that was pretty good. It was right? good. Anyway. All right. So, sex week at Harvard University. Here we go. I wish I went to Harvard. It was bound to happen. Harvard, one of the oldest, most highly esteemed universities in the nation, has launched, well, sex week. That's a week of classes devoted to teaching students about hooking up on campus, slut pride, and the art of the dirty talk. talk. Can we, can Say we what? sign up for that? What? I know. Can we Is go? Is there an the online art, course? The art of you have the to actually talk? go to Harvard to go to these I classes? Think so. I want to go. I was always under the impression that all the Ivy League stuff is real conservative. Well, I now want to go is to Harvard. Harvard. You know they're getting <laughs> down. Crazy. Dude, all of them do. Let's Smoke be real. Weed, having sex. Everybody's doing it. Yep. Absolutely. I'm into it. So, you So, they have a they have a, a a fuck week, which is great, you know. What what is there to be learned there? Well, okay. So, the student organized event at student organized there you go. Is it student organized? Yes. Sick. Event at Harvard aims to provide a mix of sexual health topics like talking to your doctor about sex to an entire seminar devoted to the female orgasm. High five. Oh, hell yeah. Legal topics like the ethics of porn <laughs> and what constitutes affirmative consent, i.e. how much alcohol is too much. Those all round out the program. Still, given... Oh, uh, sorry. These are all uh, opinions. Um, so yeah, sex week at Harvard. That's awesome. They should basically Classes. boil it all down to this is how you dissolve your ego for purposes of sex. Smoke some weed. Right? That's right. what it's Fuck, about. Right? You you can't Absolutely. There's your ego. solution. Bang. According to the website Harvard Sex Week intends <clears throat> to promote a week of programming that is interdisciplinary, thought provoking, scholastic, innovative, and applicable to student experiences in order to promote a holistic understanding of sex and sexuality. So let's talk about this. We're talking about education, sex education. All I heard in that entire sentence was weed. Because it does every <laughs> single one of those things. Right? Am I wrong? No, you, you, I You don't. girls know what I'm talking about. I Absolutely. Think, I think uh, that's why we're doing a show about sex and weed. Because they go so hand in hand. Like it's, uh, this asshole's on his phone. No, I'm turning it off. There, Keep talking. Don't worry about it. Make it moan and stuff. <laughs> right? I'm just gonna ignore you guys. I'm gonna sit in the corner. Don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me. Don't look at he me. He kind of wants us to look at him. Though, I think. Yeah, I I think when a guy says "Don't look at me," they want you yep. to look. Step one. Just roll your eyes and walk away. Yeah, that's actually true. <laughs> Turn those cameras this way too. Like, forget the girls. Everyone's. Anyway, creepy. this You're is derailed. So Harvard's cool, a uh, scholastic. Yale's uh, been doing sex it since two thousand two. Like, so since wow. two thousand two. So let's give big ups to Yale. Mm. Yeah. Because I think. This or, wait, is wait, 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 wait. Back it up. Harvard. Mm-hmm. Harvard. You said Yale. Yeah, Yale, Yale has been doing Harvard it since 2002. Oh, oh, oh okay, 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 okay. okay. Is, I'm stupid. Get Everyone's getting on the boat. That's get on, awesome. Get on my level. Yeah, like, I would go to a class that would treat it, tell yeah. us the art of the dirty talk. Is it a class or is it uh, extracurricular? It's a, class. It's a it's class. class. The students have put it together. They're organizing it, but... Yeah, yeah. but there's classes or w- workshops. I could teach a class Bless on you. dirty talk. Bless you again. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Yeah. Call up Harvard and Yale and be like, dude, She's I got you on this me. one. Fly I got it. Up. You know, I'll take care of y'all. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so let's talk about sex ed. Did you have sex ed in class in, in school? I did have sex ed in school, but it was really... Okay. I can sick. tell you right now that it did not prepare me for anything in the real world. What would you teach in sex ed? Um, Gosh. I think I'd be more real about it. Basically, the sex ed that I had really pushed abstinence. It didn't, right. you know, it's like, oh, sex is bad. You don't want to have sex. There's and legislation out there that uh, people are um, trying to get so that only abstinence is taught. Right. That's like, I mean, co- really? 
kids are gonna have sex. Only They're gonna have sex. It's yeah. gonna be that way. I think it's. Yeah. I it's think like teaching only from the Bible. It, it should be an option, Ooh. right? But not the only right. option. Absolutely. Right. For sure. I mean, you know, like. I was this talking is the best in December way. about um, I was at the clinic with my daughter and she made sure she took condoms with her and I was as a parent Go like, you don't Go. tell her no you can't take them I'm like just make sure you use them you know right yeah you got to teach your kids man like do first do not leave it up to the educational system because they will fuck your kids up and they will not well, you know, my or daughter. Know. My daughter's like, I'm on the pill, and I'm like, that's not the only problem. Mm-hmm. You right. need to wrap that shit up. Yeah, like, don't trust anybody. Exactly. Nah, that's bad. So my thing is, my son, uh, I apparently had. Can I talk about this? Can he hear me? She can't. Hear me. No. He can't. <laughs> Who cares? We can. <laughs> we we got to do the talk soon, right? anyway, sweetheart. So, We've so got the materials prepared. prepared. Son, I sent my daughter the link. She's probably <laughs> listening right now. Oh shit! What's up? Can't wait to meet you. Um, <laughs> so he had to talk with his dad, and he came to us and said, can, "Basically, can you fill in the gaps?" Right. That's where I'm at. He's a ten year old <clears throat> who's incredibly intelligent. Well, I, I just asked him. I was like, "Hey, man, what all? What did he tell you?" And he told me. I'm like, I was like, "That doesn't sound like a lot." <laughs> <laughs> That's not everything. I was like, there's uh, there's many, 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 many more things you need to know, bro. And, um, you know, whenever you're ready, I was like, me and your mom will, will sit you down and, uh, you know, we'll tell you what's, what's up. Right. We'll fill in the gaps. But how do you do that without... Embarrassing them. Right. And here's the thing. I'm going to go in and just be like, you can be embarrassed, but that's ridiculous. Like, right. Nobody's embarrassed here. This is something you need to know about. You need to take care of yourself anyone else involved right it's definitely health. something that they shouldn't be embarrassed about it needs to be something that your children can come to you about mm-hmm. you know in the past generations people were too ashamed of it to talk about it yeah and that's what i got and i got pregnant within it, three exactly. months of having sex for the first time right and you know so grateful that i did because it turned out that you know i'm not able to have kids later in life so i had them very early which is how it worked out, but that's not always what happens. Right. And it took me 10 years of, of having a child to carry with me to get my life on, back on track. Exactly. Which is something that I don't think that enough people talk about. I mean, about. I came out of high school in debt because I had a kid in high school. Woo! And it's just not Brutal. a great way to start out, Mm-mm. you know? <clears throat> also, I think, you know, it's very simple. Uh, for these kids, hey man, like figure out what you want in life. I mean, let's be real. You're gonna get curious about sex. That's cool, you know. But you need to protect yourself so that when you do find that person you want to end up with, you know, you're not taking anything along with that. You know, it's not just a pregnancy thing. It's, STDs are fucking right. rampant, dude. And you can, I mean, you can remove yourself from an otherwise good situation by not. By having something like that, that makes it impossible right. for someone, you know, no matter how much they love you, to to overcome that. Right. Let's be real. That's hard to overcome. I've I've seen it done and I've heard about it, but God, like protect your health. That yeah, that's the thing. It's Absolutely. not even a you know um, a faux pas sort of topic. It's just just handle your shit. You know. My mom always told me, don't, you know, people's drinks, like, don't drink after, you know, someone else. You wouldn't necessarily do that with, like, a sexual partner, so. Right. They always and told be, us as kids you know, not to, you know, don't use somebody else's hairbrush. Don't drink out of somebody else's right. cup. But Keep your mouth off the phone. But don't push using condoms and stuff. And right. Like, but they're pushing abstinence. They're saying, right. just don't do it. Which, which is, is not. Okay. Which is but making need to explain you why. want to do it. Yeah. Well, when you know, I was a kid, you tell me not to do something, that's immediately what I would go and do. Exactly. Because. Rebels. Yeah. <laughs> that's who I am. <laughs> and I think I'm that's, with you. that's why I like to be so realistic with my kids, because if their mother was like that, like, you know, they have that gene in them to just. They're going to be that way. Do whatever the fuck they sure. want. Yeah. So, you know, give, them, give it to them straight. And I'm so proud of them that they came to us and said, you know, we got some we got some holes in this story. Help us out. And that's cool. Right. You know, yeah. I got no problems filling the gaps there. No beef and, at all. And, you know, I think, I don't remember telling him, you know, don't be embarrassed. 
It's okay to laugh. Laugh it up. It's funny. It's awesome. Yeah, let's make know? some jokes. <laughs> That's, I'm really... I'll do dick and fart jokes all day long. You know what I mean? I'm really happy yeah. that my older kids, because I have a 10-year-old, an 11-year-old, and then my oldest will be 15 in two days. Happy birthday. And um, they're all very open with me about stuff. That's I've never awesome. really held back on talking to them about different things. Thug life. I know. Thug life. <laughs> I can't believe she painted that on her wall. <laughs> this 15-year-old. <laughs> Mm, I love it. My mom's like, I spent five hours painting those walls, and I came home an hour later, and there was thug life on the wall. What does it mean? (laughs) You'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. (laughs) Don't worry. Worry about the other stuff she wrote. (laughs) So Harvard, I mean, how does how do like administrators and shit feel about the Harvard thing? Like, I mean, obviously they're not stopping it. It's not like an occupy thing where the cops are spraying people in the dick for doing this thing. (laughs) Right. You know, that would be horrible. That'd be really funny though. Yeah, but isn't it the same skin Only that's in your mouth? Uh, isn't that right? It's like the same. The same skin that's in your mouth right. is on your. Yeah, it's the same mucus. Yeah, membranes. it's the same like. Oh, in the uh, in the vagina. Yeah. I was and gonna say because what I feel <laughs> in my mouth is not. I don't think would be representative of what's on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> We're not but talking ladies, about, like, teeth and... Yeah, all right, all right, all right. I'm on board with it. <laughs> and uh, fucking... But taste rock buds. and roll, Harvard, that's fucking awesome. That'd Harvard, be yeah. crazy. Taste buds. You know, they'd be putting it in everything. Like, what's this taste like? <laughs> I wonder if it tastes different down there than it does in my mouth. <laughs> Suckers, lollipops. Oh, guys are so gross. <laughs> uh, I was gonna yep. read. I was gonna read another story, but my internet dropped out. So, what story? So. What was the premise? Um. Well, I'll tell you about it as soon as my internet comes back. We'll get to that because that internet is, you know. Um, gynecologists aren't talking about sex as much as they should be. Wait, what? Why is that their job? Because they're a, they a check out sex your junk, doctor. Dude. They're a mm. sexual part. If they're monitoring your sexual parts, they should be yeah, you should educating be. you on them as well. You think so? I think so. Come to me when you get an <laughs> STD because I didn't tell you how to prevent it. Right? That's oh, that's not, not a bad idea. I'll clear that's it not a bad idea. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm on board with that. Cover right, all the bases. You know? Like, okay, you get it from your parents. You get it from school, kind of, in a weird way. Here's your gynecologist. Oh, by the way, this will really fucking hurt if, you you know, you don't protect yourself. Right. You know, I remember my first time going to the gynecologist, I was petrified, and they're like, lay back, <laughs> put your feet in these stirrups, <laughs> and here you go. <laughs> speculum. You see speculum. This? Yeah, yeah. speculum. They're like, this is going to hurt a little, and I'm like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> like, that's cold. <laughs> they should give you something. Are we, are we up for a commercial? We're up for a commercial. So let's go to a commercial. All right. In a few moments. We'll see it now, though. And then I'll read... Uh, Gynecologists that talk to you about yeah. your junk. Yeah. I'm Gary Johnson, and you're listening to iCannabis Radio, and I want to say, talk it up, Colorado. Sarah's Medicated Teas. With over 50,000 tea bags sold, Sarah's Medicated Teas have quickly become the most popular and most effective way to medicate without smoking. Our tea bags are made with loose leaf tea and fine hash keef. We separate into sativa, indica, hybrid, and kush medicine bases in one-third and one full gram strength. Our keef infusion process has a consistent measured dose in each bag. Sarah's medicated teas come in 20 flavors. Enjoy them hot or over ice. Sarah's medicated teas can be found in 80 MMJ centers across the state of Colorado. Sarah's Medicated Teas. When you need to medicate, it's tea time. Are you a runner? Are you a runner who supports marijuana legalization? Run on Grass is a group of athletes actively seeking to change our marijuana laws. We speak the truth about cannabis, bringing the message through our feet to new ears. Check out runongrass.com to find out more about us, our events, and how to join up or how to sponsor a runner. If you're in the Denver area, please join us for runs or start a group in your area. Running not your thing? Any sport can do it on Grass. Run on grass.com. Experience the healing power of flowers at the 2011 Best Meds Competition winner in Colorado Springs. Canna Caregivers off North Academy Boulevard and the Canna Center on Power South of Constitution. Call us at 719-597-6685 or 719-597-9333. Mention you heard this ad on normal radio and receive half off any CC concentrate purchase. Oh my god. I can't remember the last time I heard this song. 
I love this song. All I imagine, oh my god, because you remember I used to do that place in Fort Collins. We could mention them, yeah? Well, first, let's mention something even funnier. Mad Hatter's, Mad Hatter's. Smoke Shop. It's on West Colfax, not East Colfax. No, BTW, West I Colfax. I fucked that up last time. Is that by? Is that oh, the beautiful Oh, how it's <laughs> Come on in. on the way there. Oh, shit. So we got a place She literally just stepped in. I, uh, over here. was starving. I had to stop. That's and then, okay. of course, because I was in a rush. You know how when you're in a rush? Then everything Actually, you know what? You wanna, let's get all the girls on the camera instead of me. Oh, you're ugly. ugly. Yeah, you take this one. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. All the guys with their pants down are just like, do that. <laughs> 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 Who's watching the show with their pants do down? Do Pull do your you, pants up. Uh, if all the girls are on the camera, do you want to re ask that question? No, I don't. <laughs> right? All the girls are on the camera right now. <laughs> as long as there's no camera on your end shooting it back to us, it's all good. Do whatever you need yeah. to do. Right? Okay, so yeah, no, cool. we're talking about Mad Hatters. We now have another Mad Hatters employee, Jenny Kush, works there too. Oh, yep. Do you love it? I love it. How fun I, is it to sell I glass mean, all day? How fun Chris? is it to get paid to no, hang out where you usually yeah. hang out? <laughs> <laughs> right, absolutely. So come into Mad Hatters. We are on 6091 West Colfax. Yep. If you are going west on Colfax and you see Casa Benita, you have gone too far, so turn around about a block. Get up on the microphone. What are you doing? Shut your mouth. Can you hear me? <laughs> okay. Can you hear me? Why? With the domestic I have, abuse. I don't, have, I don't have headphones, woman. We have Vi here do? in the studio. Yes, let's introduce Vi. Since my people are asking broken. who she is. Vi. Hi. Vi. V I. Welcome to Sex Pot Radio. Our, so is glad you're here. for badass. Yes. He right. will not call you by your effing name. I can't do anything about it, lady. We have already had this conversation. You know how I feel no, about it. Nobody heard that, actually. Oh. We recorded it, but no one heard it. Okay, it's unfortunate because well, that was an amazing. Maybe we should put that we up. We should put it up. Let's we should totally up. put that up. Yeah, I think so. I think that's Next a good time plan. we get two ways to do hey, podcast, we'll throw it up. But hey, you will be happy to know that I have officially started the legal name changing process. Get the fuck now out. Now look at that. I will not Power. get the funk out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is by you are um, an uh, an esthetician. Um, uh, that's one of my many talents. Right? Yes, one, one of I them. am a skincare therapist at a medical spa. So I basically do laser treatments and skincare all day long, help and heal people, yeah. if you will, Excellent. in a different light. Um, I'm oh, I'm so happy to see oh, you. I don't know why you're feeling better. <laughs> right? Did I tell you what's going on? We'll talk. We'll talk about it off the air. But it involves. Uh, mold at our house, so we're all we're Wait, getting it fixed, and we're all no, 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 no what? No, what? let's keep talking about chicks and sex and pot. Yes. Yeah. No one anyway, hear sorry, about I was walking into a room. <laughs> so anyway, Vi is an esthetician. She's awesome at it, and she helps people mm-hmm. and yes. rocks her crazy feather earrings. You know oh this. You, you know, know this. Son. Hey, so, and my birthday is tomorrow. Oh, oh my Jesus! Happy, happy birthday! Early birth- birthday yeah, we're forget. gonna do something for your birthday, right? What? We're doing something for your birthday. Are you guys going to come to my party mm-hmm. tomorrow? We will. Okay, good. You're all invited. <laughs> Everyone's, Everyone's invited. Again. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, that's that's what I do as far as a day job. Um, I basically love it just because I get to help and heal people all day long. It's an amazing feeling to be able to bring confidence and light into somebody just through treatments. Yeah, you know? and it's, it's something that really helps, uh, especially... Um, <clears throat> I know when I was at the spa, uh, people don't, you know, <coughs> it's not that you should rely on your looks, but when you look good, you feel good. Yeah, and, and it's not even so much that, t- I mean, it is, it's part of it. Like, if you feel like you look good, then of course you're going to feel better, but um, it's also just like, I need your people floor. sometimes need that human touch and whatnot, Absolutely. you know? But, yep, so that's what I do as far as a day job. I am also in the middle of learning how to play the bass guitar. Oh, snap. These two nice. fingers are numb. <laughs> Those are the ones. <laughs> 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 I just realized how awful that just looked. That's awesome. Um, and um, getting back into acting and music and all that. So I just found out from, from my mom that this commercial I did for, um, who was it? <laughs> now I'm going to forget. You were on my news, weren't you? Yeah. Well, I did that one commercial that was on Fox 31. Oop, Fox 31. Did no, really? but this other one, I guess I didn't even know it aired already, but I guess it's been on for like a week and it's on 9 News. What was the commercial? 
Um, basically, I got paid to speak my mind about how I feel about Colorado health care and insurance. Oh, wow. Shit. Exciting. Bueno. <laughs> and uh, you know I spoke my mind. I was just like, and this is how I feel about it. That's awesome. So um, I guess that's really cool. And I guess they've been playing it a lot because of this whole Obama right. health care reform thing. Oh, dear. So that's wah, cool. Wah. Right. Yeah, I know. Speaking of health care. It needs reformed. <laughs> yeah, the guy, guy the it, does. <laughs> it does. Help it out. The story that can you we... guys hear me properly? On yeah. Yes, we can hear you. Am I way, way loud? I just wish I could You're see good. you properly. Okay. Let me move over here. <laughs> so, gynecologist, you got to be in, in the camera, though. Oh. That's right there. Oh. You good? Everybody's watching. Okay, cool. <sighs> Don't We're be prepared. nervous. So, Gynecolog- gynecologists aren't talking enough about sex. Okay. I lost my shit, so go Gynecologists ahead. aren't talking about sex as much as you'd think. Funny, because their entire profession relies on the act, right? But only 40% of OBGYN doctors surveyed ask questions about sexual dysfunction on the regular. Only 29% routinely ask patients about sexual satisfaction and 28% ask a patient's sexual orientation. Shouldn't they want to ensure their parent, patients have satisfactory sex lives so that they'll create more babies? Giving them more business? Is just their saying. business just babies, though? Is that no, that is not totally just their it's business. Sec- it's sexual Isn't health. the world overpopulated anyway? <laughs> just saying. It is, but only in I mean, China. they should. If they're but only asking one in three, e- even their sexual preference, like, isn't that something yeah. that we <coughs> that need is to know? something that you should definitely know well, as a doctor for sure. And as a woman, don't you feel like? almost like slightly embarrassed or something to talk to your doctor about actual sex like when it comes to like something that's going on with you or like a physical you want to make sure everything's okay but do you feel comfortable to sit there and talk to your doctor about like if you were having a sexual relationship with somebody and something wasn't right or like you weren't having an orgasm or something like that do you feel like you'd be comfortable to talk to your doctor about that I think I'm comfortable yeah I think I'm comfortable talking to my doctor about anything because I'm like Fuck you! You went to school for this. You have to listen to me. <laughs> right? I can like, see that about you. Yeah, that. <laughs> we're gonna go through a whole list. <clears throat> Get ready. Um, but I don't know that it's like I don't think that it should be taboo. I don't think that I don't think so either. But I, tr- as a woman, feel like it is in a way, and I do feel like it should be a doctor's responsibility to kind of make you feel comfortable to be able to talk about something like that if they're not bringing it up or even care whether you're gay or straight or whatever like how is that going to make you feel comfortable to be like oh and you know I'm concerned about this right Right. years ago I was in the doctor's office and you know all done with the exam and everything she's like okay we're done I want to see you in six months and I'm like wait I still have questions I'm like I'm having pain when I'm doing this this way and she goes well don't do it that way (laughs) <laughs> oh my god but i like it that but way, I it that way. <laughs> I'm, I'm like i really like it that way and it hurts though now and it used to not hurt and she's like well i don't know like maybe it's an std like we'll know when we get the results back <laughs> from your test and i'm like what? wait a second here like i'm having extreme pain we'll come to find out years later after having my third child, like my uterus had actually like tipped all the way back against my tailbone. Holy I was gonna shit. say your uterus can tilt and there can be right. like, but yeah. And that's where the issues were coming from, but it was something that I had never experienced before and it like terrified me. So what like, so what's the what's the conclusion to this? Like you just can't I, do it I that had way? another baby and it went back the other way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <to> that. <laughs> you just can't do it that way. <laughs> Is that it? They told me that I could have surgery, but they're like, your insurance won't cover it because it's just a pain issue when you do it that way. I'll just get pregnant again and I'll go back to where it was. (laughs) Right. It was like seven years later, I got pregnant again and everything was good. And I'm like, sweet. (laughs) That's really something that we should be able to talk to our doctors about. Uh, For sure. I think so. Is it different for dudes? Like, you just got your... For the first time, was it? Oh. I just got a bonus for the first time. <laughs> you got sure. your. I <laughs> hope not. Prostate check. Yeah, didn't you just oh, get your? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I had a finger in my ass. Um, it was, it was interesting. I mean, can he what make you, you turn your head and cough? About it. No, no, no. That's uh, just the ball I turned on my side I for think. every dude that wants to know. Uh, I turned on my side and she's like, breathe deep. I'm like, shit. <laughs> but you know, I was like, I'm here. Fuck it. You know, 
Did every, every dude's are you a okay? I'm good. I'm yeah. Rock and roll. What was the question though? Just the like, are you comfortable talking with your doctor about uh, about your sexual? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I've never you know had any problems like having pain in positions or anything. But right. I think it might be a little uh, bit. My ears is scared. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know what? If I had any issues, for sure, I'd. It's strange. Here's the thing. It's strange talking to a, a kind of a, a relative stranger that really only knows what they know of you is what your physical body is. They don't know, you know, what you're like, who you are, you know what I mean? So those <clears throat> those kind of personal things about you, I can see why people are just like, dude, that's a little uncomfortable. But I'm always saying, check your ego, talk about some shit, don't be afraid to do it, um, and just rock it. So for me, um, no, it wouldn't be an issue. Just check your ego yeah just check your ego talk about it man if you got questions say hey dude i got a question i think that we don't talk about sex enough and a lot of, a lot of people have come up to me and been like why are you doing a sex show isn't that kind of putting everything out there and i'm like isn't that kind of what i do i think it's <laughs> like, making other people comfortable with it I've right so many people message As it should, me right. questions I hope, yeah. mm -hmm. emails about you know thank you for giving us a, a yeah. platform to talk about this something to talk about you know, strangeness and is the chat room gone? <laughs> Somebody's talking. <laughs> Somebody said that dude is small. <laughs> what? You're little. <laughs> He's sitting on the floor. <laughs> oh, you don't even know. These cameras take he away likes at least. down under the desk. Never mind. I'm not even say what say. No, I'm sitting next to the desk so that everyone can look at the hot chicks. You're welcome, guys. Anywho. They say thank you. Yeah. So exactly. just a, just <laughs> is there a chat room? Happening? There is a chat room. I'm so not clued in. Oh yeah, girl. we're live right now. We're live. ETW, you know, yeah, we're recording just, too. But these you know, little things, these balls on sticks, those are cameras. Completely different than those. Than I, yeah, those eyeballs are cameras. I see. You. <laughs> and this is how it's gonna be week to week. We'll have a chat room set up and and go live and then that's fun so what are yeah. what are people saying in the chat room not to derail uh, they told the gyno you to sit topic. on your penis <laughs> what'd they say about my penis <laughs> they said to sit on it sit on it Do i don't know if that's gonna raise you up or <laughs> uh well and they're talking about how you're down under the desk chilling oh, yeah. <laughs> you're in the wrong spot no, I'm in the right spot, you fox. <laughs> All the rest of you are on top of the desk. <laughs> yeah, sitting Would on your penis. Would you rather me stand up? Sitting on your penis Wouldn't will make you Wouldn't you rather taller. be on top of the desk? <clears throat> oh, my. Me to be on top of the desk? I don't think so. She's Maybe that was pun <laughs> intended type of comment. <laughs> right? Uh, Everyone would rather look at We won't go there. This is a sex radio or anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. Sitting on my penis. Where, where like, are we at what? for commercial? <laughs> Five minutes. Okay. My, my internet dropped out. I'm sorry to... So, what are people saying in the chat? Like, anything you guys want to talk about, discuss? No, yeah, um, if you guys want to I'm discuss not showing something, you, my penis. you know, throw some questions out there for us. We're not going to make Night is Matt young. sit on his let's penis just, No, let's here. just put that Maybe out there now. Maybe when he gets home, <laughs> takes his pants off, he can sit on it. Yeah. Who? Um, <laughs> Wait, or someone else, I don't know. <laughs> Watch, Watch the Thunderdome for Dude Dick, everybody. <laughs> Why do you know about that? Is there Dude Dick on the... I just threw that out there. Wow. Wow. Ball Ball shots. Yeah. Guys love That's doing that to each other. Awesome. Seriously. Why is that? They just I don't know. It's just like the it's man a game thing for of sure. let me hit your penis. <laughs> let me slap my balls in your face. We don't go around flicking each other's nipples, like <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? You don't what is And girls it? are some of the most competitive <laughs> oh, things on the sure. planet, right? That's yeah, it. I do grab certain friends' boobs. Right? But yeah, you know, oh, like, yes, I get walk up to him, titty cake. <laughs> I get <laughs> There's a storm coming. Seriously. <laughs> Boob right. grabbed like nobody's business. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> people want to touch them. I guess so. <laughs> and apparently, my girlfriends really love to. They're just like, hi. <laughs> and you're like, like yo, greeting? you're too familiar. It's <laughs> <laughs> your greeting. <laughs> you guys, what was that one movie where he's like, let's play a game? Tune in, Tokyo. Do you know which one? I can't remember the name of the movie, but he's like, go like this. And she's like, oh, okay. And he's like, tune in, Tokyo. I have no idea. Oh, Do you know what movie man. that's from? Chris, no, you know I can't. Do you, I think you, it's Revenge of the Nerds. 
Oh my god, oh, I think you're right. I bet I it think is. I bet it is. We seen gotta get that, that audio years. clip. For sure. Right. We'll find that. Yeah, we need to find that. I'll be listening <laughs> to this sure. and Google that. Oh, me goodness. I think that there's. Um, they would like to know in the chat room if anyone makes a cannabis lube. Oh, I believe that's somebody oh, does. Great idea. Oh, actually. Oh my god. Absorb your weed Shit, through your cock. Damn. And we need to talk. Oh my god, please tell me that's edible. <laughs> it's like the flavored lubes. Right. You know? A friend of ours in uh, Michigan may be up. returning to Are Colorado. Are we allowed to talk about it? I'm not sure yet. He's Fuck. trying to talk or his wife into coming back. Come back. Please come back. We need you to make medicated lube. <laughs> or I, can do or lube. I, can do I have lube. a great solution for this entire thing. Work. <laughs> that is a very interesting cannabis. concept. Sm- we could smoke. God, could smoke I need it. to smoke some we cannabis. Can smoke mouths. Instead of, you we know. can't smoke any on the show. Uh, vagina bumping it. You know what yeah. I mean? But I think I think there's room for both. I'm like, gonna have to give some serious thought to that. I've never really thought about. And what's the? Here's your weed, sweetie. What's the? No. <laughs> <laughs> but not so That's much awesome. as to get high, but you know. There's also medical problems. I wonder how that would stimulate yeah, that dude, area, like, though. If you know, girls right? with like endometriosis or problems, like with their lady bits. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're like, hey, this bits. is topical. Cr- this is topical cream. You know, they for give sure. those out for gynecologists, right? Right. Here's topical creams. This is, you know, topical this will help creams. your, you know, cysts or, you know, they're whatever. They're suggesting, Girls have those problems. They're suggesting in common, the right? chat room that it be high in CBDs, which would alleviate Fuck pain. yeah. But that may put you to sleep. What's the problem with that? After sex, I like you're to sleep anyway. Sex. <laughs> no one's going gonna, to sleep while having sex. It's not going to activate if that quickly. If you're falling asleep, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> At that point, you need to put on some porn. And so fuck you, Santorum. If you're is partner. that the key? Oh, sleep. pornography. <laughs> Bam. Fuck you, Recall. Santorum. All right, <laughs> we will talk more about porn and lube and a little Cannabis. bit about prostitution. Maybe prostitution. When we come back. We're going to talk about Hookers. prostitution when we come back. Hookers. <laughs> Hookers in Canada. Hold on for to pay the bills. Go. Are you a runner? Are you a runner who supports marijuana legalization? Run on Grass is a group of athletes actively seeking to change our marijuana laws. We speak the truth about cannabis, bringing the message through our feet to new ears. Check out runongrass.com to find out more about us, our events, and how to join up or how to sponsor a runner. If you're in the Denver area, please join us for runs or start a group in your area. Running not your thing? Any sport can do it on grass. Runongrass.com. Experience the healing power of flowers at the 2011 Best Meds Competition winner in Colorado Springs. Canna Caregivers off North Academy Boulevard and the Canna Center on Power South of Constitution. Call us at 719-597-6685 or 719-597-9333. Mention you heard this ad on normal radio and receive half off any CC concentrate purchase. The Law Offices of Vets and Maintenance Mats provide criminal defense, medical marijuana defense, and advice about setting up and running medical marijuana centers, optional premises, cultivation operations, and infused product manufacturing businesses throughout Colorado. With offices in Denver and Aspen, we can offer assistance throughout the entire state of Colorado. Give us a call at 303-831-8188. That's 303-831-8188. Or visit us online at warrenetson.com. Sarah's Medicated Teas. With over 50,000 tea bags sold, Sarah's Medicated Teas have quickly become the most popular and most effective way to medicate without smoking. Our tea bags are made with loose leaf tea and fine hash keef. We separate into sativa, indica, hybrid, and kush medicine bases in one third and one full gram strength. Our keef infusion process has a consistent measured dose in each bag. Sarah's medicated teas come in 20 flavors. Enjoy them hot or over ice. Sarah's medicated teas can be found in 80 MMJ centers across the state of Colorado. Sarah's medicated teas. When you need to medicate, it's tea time. What's up, guys? It's Sexpot Radio. We're back. Woo. Looking at titties and bacon. Yeah, we had titties, titties and bacon. covered in bacon. <laughs> What's I that like, link up in the chat? I have all these tabs open. Right? Oh, just Google bacon bikinis, everyone. Like, Why were you Googling it? I saw you I post wanted on bacon Facebook today. <laughs> <laughs> I thought bacon covered titties would be great. <laughs> I don't know. Um, fuck yes. 
Right? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> like, the, the world of Jenny Kush. Sorry. Second <laughs> two greatest things. Crazy. Maybe tits and bacon. God Love only it. knows what tabs are open on my computer. Hopefully Santorum doesn't get a hold of it. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, it Just don't leave your Facebook it's open. Part of our part of our job to look at sex topics all day. Right. And talk about sex all now day. Now that's some research. Kate. Right. I was so. doing research for the show while I was up in Montana, and I came back and had a virus on my computer. Had oh. to have things fixed again. Pornography yeah, is not doing research well. for the show. I, I don't it know what count. happened. I had all these tabs just opened up all of a sudden, like twenty of them. I was like, oh crap. <laughs> oh. I got a cold. <laughs> part of the job. Part of the job. Right. Okay, so we're gonna talk a little bit about pornography. Er, Sorry. Prostitution. Prostitution, which oh. um, the Ontario just came down with a bunch of new laws, right? Yeah, Ontario, Canada has changed their laws on prostitution. Um, basically, it's their laws are becoming more protective of their prostitutes. Um, hookers can hire bodyguards, bodyguards starting next month. And it prohibits anyone, including pimps, security pro- personnel, anyone like that, from profiting on another person's sexual act. So, so it's only, only the, the prostitute can make the money, but the pimps can't be hooked up on it. Um, they can hi- they can hire somebody to they can hire someone to protect to them, the and books. they can pay right, them on, for protection. Isn't that the pimp's job anyway? Like he does the man shit. Like, do I think the garbage, sometimes the, the pimps books. are the one that do the most damage <clears throat> to the women? Yeah, you know, and they're forcing them into sexual acts that they don't necessarily want to do. Some I, of them, sure, right? You Probably. know, and so sure and it, without the, the spread of it without exists. the protection of laws like this. And, like, here, where prostitution is just illegal, right. we don't have those protections. We don't have the ability to, you know, um, take care of these people who have chosen to do this for their job, which I'm not saying, you know, by any means it's, a, it's what it's you should do with your life. It's not the best profession, but, you know, it's supply and demand. People, and it's people want yeah. sex. They can't get it somewhere else. They need to get it somewhere yeah, you need And, you know, okay, money. they're paying for it. At least they're not out raping someone because they can't get it somewhere else. I, I think with you with uh, two consenting adults who know what they're doing, um, they should be protected with these laws that will, you know, make people like the Bunny Ranch in, in Vegas that, you know, you have right. to get tested. You have to, you know, you have to, there's all these rules and regulations to it. Um, but that protects these women who have chosen to do that. Right. And... and doesn't allow for people to be, you know, herded into this profession as a young girl. Right. You know, that that's where we have a real problem is the human right. trafficking. And um, I think that they're using logic up there and saying uh, this is sure. happening anyway. Let's do something to... So that we can protect the women that are doing it or the men that are doing it, you know. Thank God guys out there doing that shit too. Um, they're also, within the next year, brothels will be legal in Ontario. Um, and that is just basically to prevent women from have to, having to do these sexual favors in secluded areas. Now they're able to bring it into a place where they can do it in private and not risk their own lives by having to take off down the street in a car with somebody that they don't know. Right. You know, and some dark alley somewhere, you know, when bad things could happen. Um, What's your take on porno, uh, on prostitution? I don't really feel like I have a solid nor here nor there about it. I don't say that I particularly agree with it, but, I mean, it's everybody for their own. Like, I'm not going to judge somebody because they are doing it because judgment in general is just retarded, but... <laughs> judgment is retarded don't do it <laughs> that's not a judging statement um i don't know i just feel like i personally could never imagine selling myself and my body for profit so therefore i don't really have a whole lot to say but somebody's it. choice to do that it's anybody's choice to do it and we know that there are i couldn't even put a number on it plenty of people who have chosen that as their profession i'm sure should we protect them with these regulations or should we turn a blind eye 
they need to be protected. They need to be educated. They need to be tested for STDs. I know that there's countries where it's mandatory for prostitutes to be tested every six months for STDs. And that's not only to protect them, but to protect the public. Your boyfriend goes out, hires a prostitute one night, comes home with some STD. You don't know where he I got hope it that's from. Not my you know? <laughs> right, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, and you don't. I know. mean, at I the can... end of the day, like protection in general for people who are putting themselves out there like that is obviously more. <laughs> um, I don't even know what the word is I'm looking for here, but. Obviously, you want somebody to be protected regardless. Like, right. We right. all turn a blind eye to that every single day. It okay. happens here, I'm sure. But it's just like it is a very, can be a very violent industry. And I feel like if you can hire a freaking security guard while you're doing that, then why not? You right. Know? Right. And now, and the whole thing is with their law, they're making it illegal to solicit sex out on the streets. You have to do it in these common areas. Mm where prostitutes are so you're in a protected environment you can hire a bodyguard or an escort to take you to the guy's home say you know if you're not doing it in the brothel but it makes it a little safer you're more public and yeah no, you know. let's be devil's advocate here for a second like i mean we're all we could all since with our stance on cannabis we're all for less government am i right Right. Is this one of the areas that would be a good thing? Is there any any sort of other view for like, no, this is a terrible thing? Like, how could this ever go wrong? Like, <clears throat> do I mean it's it sounds awesome, sounds great, you know? But I, I think obviously, it, we don't like government making laws to to police us and worry about our shit. But in this particular instance, this is where like the police are thing. actually protecting. This is the serve and protect. This is the protect that they're supposed to be doing. Right, right. right. And it's uh, is there just any way for this to go I think horribly it's, awry? We know it's the oldest profession out there. Sure, we know that it's gonna happen. So maybe it is like. Uh, something that needs to be regulated or something that needs to be uh, allowed so that certain regulations can be put in place. Because sure. if it's not, we're just going to continue down this path, which is, you know, rampant sex abuse. Yeah, but are you guys also taking a look at, like, the caliber and the type of people that are choosing to do this? I'm sure it's, like, pretty vast or whatever, but... Even if you're just watching, like, if you ever caught, like, one of those HBO real sex type of things, mm -hmm. and, you know, they interview all those type of girls that are doing that, and these women are choosing to also put themselves in these type of situations and, you know, choose to take the drugs and live this sort of lifestyle. So, therefore, I think it kind of, I mean, it's all a choice, yeah, but it comes down to, like... I mean, if you can protect somebody in any way, shape, or form, obviously that's the key. But if you're willing to put yourself in these situations and take that road into that sort of lifestyle, then it's all that, like it's all game road, for you. That road is oftentimes not one that you choose to be on. Like the economic struggles in this desperate country. times call for desperate measures. Right. You know. And like I'd hate I hate to think about that somebody would sell themselves, you know, for formula. But this is what's happening. Like it's happening. And if they're also going to be incarcerated for that, to protect their, you know, their family or their lifestyle, we're talking about the way that some people are are having to live because of the country and the, and the the struggles that that we're all dealing with. I mean, it's I think it's serious, and I think. Uh, I think they're they're great for putting laws into place to protect. Right. And another part of them doing it this way and pushing them into these areas, into brothels and stuff, and keeping them from being out on the street is to keep them from disrupting the public. So you don't have a hooker out on your corner in front of your house trying to hook up with someone, you know. It's putting them into an area that's away from the public's eye. Yeah. It says if you're going to do it, that's the way to do it, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, it's one of those things, you know, going back to, um, you know, uh, Wheaties that, um, you know, victimless crimes. I mean, you do do what floats your boat, you know, but uh, as right. long as you're not hurting anyone. And right. I'm on board with the idea. Or yourself. Of, yeah, exactly. Right. You're, 
Well, is prostitution I think, you know, hurting with you your body, you do you do your thing. I don't think the government has any right to tell That's you. That's where what it comes to do. down to it's your body, exactly. it's your right to do with However, it what you want. So, you know, to answer sort of my whole idea on this, uh, is this a negative thing? No. I think, you know, if you decide to go this way, it's going to only protect you and not come into a sort of, um, you know, the government's trying to tell you what to do sort of thing. But is there that happy medium? Are we going to allow this and then it's going to be over-regulated? We'll be like, you can have sex this way. But now you're going to pay taxes Guaranteed. (laughs) Guaranteed. If the government gets involved in that, guaranteed. Like, that's all. This is America, people. All we care about is money, apparently. Well, this is in Canada, but... But you know what I mean? Right, like exactly. if our government yeah. here, our government does it, they're sure. gonna have their hands deep in your pockets with that, John. Yeah, dude. <laughs> just, like, just like if it were to happen with marijuana, like yes, we would all love for it to be legal. How amazing! But as soon as they, as soon as it is, it's like it's gonna be a money how thing. much right. money can I make from this? You know, it's just how it is. That's a very good point. Which is, str- um, I think it was normal. Was it normal? Um, somebody wrote a, a fourteen billion dollar check and presented it to. Uh, on the steps of Congress or something like that. $14 billion check saying this is what you get in a year if we legalize and tax marijuana. $14 wow. billion oh, we're talking with a B. Like, could what what could we do for the schooling, for the education system? Seriously. For oh, dude, the, the health book. systems. like For people not having to prostitute themselves. There you go. Let's create some jobs or something here. Right? Yeah. Beautiful. All right, guys. This is Sex Pot Radio. Our, we're not commercial. We're, this is we're killing it. Uh, good so fun. A little, a little bit of a crazy, crazy mishmash of everything going on, but we'll get it together. Stick with us. I love. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Peace and love, people. If there's <laughs> anything that you'd like to hear us talk about on the show, be sure to me- message December or I. You know, so or we can by. cover those topics. That or, you the hear about. or the bi. Do you care if I yeah. ca- abbreviate? Do the VI. Just call her her name. Oh, Damn. VI. That, does that yeah, not sound cool? <laughs> People like to That's call That's what I said. That's whatever. Dude, whatever. I got this really awesome mug somebody got me because it's like the VI with a little says, smiley it? face. Oh. I'm like, okay. It's That's from sick. Village Inn, but I'm like, I'll yeah. take it. <laughs> <laughs> so hit us up on Facebook. Find us, uh, Hemptress December on Facebook. Um, Jenny Kush yep. on Facebook. You I want a cool name. Get We'll get you one. Vi is pretty cool. Oh, I got I it. <laughs> You'll like this one because you know my old name. How about Hashley Blazon? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hashley Blazon. Nice. Oh, I like it. shit. I like it. That's awesome. All right. Big, big ups to coming. our photographer, uh, Pimp Her. Yes. Thank you very much, Brooke. You're welcome. Uh, what's the name of your? Brooklyn Bliss. Brooklyn Bliss <laughs> Photography. Find her on the Facebook. FB. Awesome pictures. We're all connected. Super stoked, Christ. right? It's the web. Thank I'll God be sure to network. post a link to your page too. Yeah, Brooke. we all will. So, all right, thanks guys, and we'll see you next week. I'm Hunter September. Stay lifted. I'm Jenny Kush. You all have a good week. I'm Ashley Blazin. Peace and <laughs> <of> love. <laughs> I'm Eddie. Bye bye. Peace. Who is this irresistible creature who has an insatiable love for?